Hi there. In this problem, you're being asked to solve an equation for x and list all of your restrictions. Now, the first thing I want to do is list our restrictions. Now, our restrictions are going to come uh, by setting our denominator, uh, the denominator that contains our variable, set that equal to zero. All right. And what we want to do is over here, uh, we're going to take 9x plus 4 and set that equal to 0. All right, I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides, and I get 9x is equal to negative 4, divide by 9, divide by 9, and we get that x is equal to negative 4 over 9. Now, this, uh, these are my restrictions, okay? Um, and, and, and based on this, how I want to write that is that my restrictions say that x is cannot be equal to negative 4 over 9, okay? Because this value, if I plug this value into this equation, this will make my denominator 0, and you can't do that, all right? You can't divide by 0. So whenever you have, uh, we, you know, we call these rational equations, and so, um, you know, when you have a variable that's in your denominator, um, you have to check for this, all right? And so now uh, what, what we want to do is now just solve this equation for x, all right? So what I'm going to do is, um, is I'm going to cross multiply here, okay? Um, and so, you know, that's one of the ways you would want to um, solve an equation like this, especially when you have, you know, this rational expression here too. You know, a fraction, you know, you know, this is in the form of a fraction where you've got a, an algebraic expression here and one down here, and that's equal to a fraction. So when you have two fractions equal to each other, that's what you'd want to do is just cross multiply. So I'm going to do 4 times 9x plus 4, set that equal to 5 times 9x minus 4, all right? From here, let's clear our parentheses by... Um, by distributing, so I'm going to distribute that 4. 4 times 9x is 36x. 4 times 4 is 16, okay? If I distribute my 5 here, uh, I'm going to get 5 times 9x, which is going to give me 45x, and then 5 times negative 4 is minus 20. So uh, to solve this for x, um, I'm going to subtract 36x from both sides, and then uh, we're going to get 16 is equal to 45 minus 36 is 9x, and then minus 20. All right, so then from here, I want to add 20 to both sides. All right, and so then we're going to get uh, 36 is equal to 9x. Uh, and then we can divide both sides by 9 and by 9, and you end up getting that x is equal to 4. 36 divided by 9 is 4. All right, and so that's the idea. Now, what you want to check to see is, is, is this, are these two numbers the same? All right, uh, because they're not the same, all right, this is how we want to write that, all right, because these are not the same, all right, um, x equals 4 is the solution, okay, to this equation, all right? Want to make sure that it's not. If it is, if these are the same, then this we would call this an extraneous solution, meaning that, um, you know, we get this value algebraically by solving this for x, but uh, it doesn't fit, um, you know, it wouldn't, it, it would make the equation untrue, all right? So anytime that you're solving an equation, you can always check to see if this is correct, all right, so if you check, all right, to see, um, let's plug in 9 uh, times 4 minus 4. We're going to plug this back into the original equation over 9 times 4 plus 4. Is this equal to 4 fifths? All right, that's the question you want to ask yourself. And so from there, uh, 9 times 4 is 36 minus 4 over 36 plus 4. Okay, is this equal to 4 over 5? So 36 minus 4 is 32. And then 36 plus 4 is 40. All right, each of these numbers are divisible by 4. Or no, by 8, rather. Um, and so, uh, yeah, it does, in fact, give us 4 fifths. So 32 divided by 8 is 4. 40 divided by 8 is 5. These are the same. Therefore, 
for is our solution that makes that true. Um, but you always want to make sure that when you have a rational equation like this, you list out your restrictions. Um, if you get a different number, make sure it works. Um, but if you get the same number, then it's extraneous. So hopefully this helps. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.